Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt. So have you tried Facebook ads and it completely bombed on you? Or maybe you've tried Facebook ads and you've just lost a ton of money, you put money in and you're just kind of frustrated with it and you're stressed out. Well, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how you can start to get profitable ads going with Facebook and how you can do it in a very simple uh, way and we're gonna do it like a total boss. So if you're new to the channel, if you if your first time you've been here, I'd like to talk to you about creating that total boss lifestyle. and the total boss lifestyle is just being able to do what you want uh, when you want and do it with whom you want and you can do it with Facebook ads just one tool that you can use but before we get into it though hit that subscribe button also hit that bell option that way you get notified of all of the videos that I come out with to you on a daily basis so Facebook ads right it's where everybody's at right now if you do, if you haven't been on Facebook yet you know that or if you have you know that everybody's there right all your friends all your family everybody also, the customers that are out there that you want to get in front of are going to be out there. Now, Facebook ads works uh, great if you have your own products and services that you sell. It also can work with affiliate marketing. So I want to particularly talk to you about uh, taking Facebook ads and making affiliate marketing work with your Facebook ads and how you make that work. Because getting into your own products is really good and that's ultimately your long-term goal because you keep majority of the money, you keep the customers everything that goes along with it. But affiliate marketing with Facebook ads uh, is doable and it just takes a couple of different things. First of all though, if you haven't really understood about affiliate marketing, all you're doing is promoting somebody else's product. They created the product, they created the service, and you're going to promote it. Now with Facebook ads though, you, uh, you can't just get in there and just start running ads everywhere. You can't just throw them at anybody. You really have to do a lot of testing and you have to do a lot of uh, trial and error type things. So if you've really failed in the past and you've bombed, it's okay because failure is is really success, okay? You know, we, we grow up in this school system where uh, they don't really talk about failure, but failure with Facebook ads and anything you do online and anything you do with marketing, failure is is just one step closer to where you're gonna be, become successful. So if you've tried Facebook ads and you've failed, it's okay. We all bomb at them, we all fail at them. I mean, I've failed so many times, and I still, to this day, I still run ads that completely bomb on me, and I still run funnels that just absolutely don't even work, okay? But I understand now there's different levels and funnels and things like that that's going to um, help you succeed with Facebook ads. So the, the, the number one important thing, uh, and I want you to kind of get a little a mindset shift here with Facebook ads is this is don't go into Facebook ads trying to make money, okay? Don't go into it thinking, I only run Facebook ads, I don't wanna make a ton of money. And I know you're probably thinking that's the craziest thing I've ever heard, but what I want you to do is, I want you to think in terms of, create, of putting up a Facebook ads and breaking even on that ad, okay? All you wanna do is if you put in $10, you wanna get that $10 back, somehow, some way. That's all you should focus on. Now let me explain how you're gonna be making money because ultimately you want to make the money, you wanna have an, you know, that lifestyle, but all the money that you make is gonna be on the back end of your promotions, okay? Most people, they run into Facebook and they wanna just, they wanna start making a ton of money right away with Facebook ads and that's where they get frustrated and that's where they bomb because they don't understand that it's not, doing Facebook ads and making the money up front is not where the magic happens. It happens all on the back end. And you can do this with, with affiliate offers because a lot of the good affiliate offers out there have um, a, 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 like a big funnel on the back end and you can see the funnel and you can see uh, the upsells and all that good stuff. So when you're running Facebook ads, you first of all, you wanna find the target audience, whoever you're going to be targeting, okay? You can, you can narrow it down by men, by women, by age, by uh, whatever, you know, religion, by, uh, you know, the, what they like, the music they like, the music they don't like, uh, their political views. You can do all kinds of targeting to specific types of groups of people out there. And when you narrow down a very specific group of somebody that's going to be interested in the product or service that you have, then you start to really see good click-through rates for your ads. But the most important thing is this, is when you get somebody from Facebook ad, you need to send them to a lead capture page. Lead capture page is nothing but collecting an email, a name, that way you can follow up with that, with that lead. If you send straight from a Facebook ad to a sales page, you're gonna completely bomb, you're gonna get frustrated, and that's where 
you're gonna fail at big time, okay? Because it just doesn't work like that. You can't take somebody from Facebook onto a sales page. Because you gotta understand, people are on Facebook and they're just socializing. They're just on there to see what's up with their friends. They're on there to see what's going on with their family. They're not really there to solve a problem that they have. So it's your job to get them off Facebook, teach them a little bit about the problem that they have, okay? Educate them a little bit, and then give them the solution that you have. So that's your only job, is you get them off there, do a little bit of, of you know, training on how to do that, and get them onto your, to your funnel. When you get somebody from Facebook ads and they go to your landing page, they put in their email, okay? There's all kinds of, you know, you get, there's gonna be gurus out there that are gonna say, you know, you need to send somebody from, a, from the landing page to a bridge page and you need to video them and, and all that. I don't really fall into that category because I don't really believe in that because I think you need to show uh, you need to show an like a like an offer right away. So somebody lands on the landing page, they go to an offer right away, like a one-time offer. You got to get this right now. Uh, this will help you succeed. You want to show an offer right away because all you want to be doing is getting your ad spend back. So if you send somebody from a landing page and they and it redirects to a sales page well now what you have is you have somebody on your your list and now you're showing them an offer and if they buy that offer then you're going to be making that money back on your ad spend okay but the money all is the most of the majority of the money is going to be made when you follow up with that lead when you send that email to that lead and you talk to them about a bigger program or a, or a much better solution than, than what you did initially but ultimately you're going to get somebody that's going to that's going to Go to your opt-in form. They're going to put in their name and the email. They're going to get redirected to the offer, okay, the sales page. And if they buy that, they might get into that funnel and they might get upsold, upsold, upsold. So it could be a $7 <clears throat> report on the front end, but it could ultimately turn into a couple hundred dollars in upsells through that funnel. Now you could go and find some great offers on JVZoo. If you go to JVZoo, you can see the exact funnel through that. You can also go to Warrior Plus. There's a lot of good offers there where you can see the exact funnel. So if somebody gets in there and they, they buy it, they're gonna get uh, presented with another upsell. If they buy that, you make more money. If they get, then it's it could be a third upsell, it could be a downsell. There's all kinds of different avenues where you're able to earn percentages on that. So you don't really have to create your own product. You can just promote somebody else's funnel and then you're gonna get a percentage of that funnel. A lot of times you'll get 100% on the front end and then the back end funnel will be about 50% of whatever the fees are on to that back end funnel. But that's where you'll make up for the ad spend. All of the, the back end funnel on your initial product that you promote is going to be just gravy. But when you start to send out emails, you start promoting other products that are higher ticket or bigger ticket, that's where you're gonna start making the money because all of that money that you, when you get somebody on the list, and they don't buy your product right away, but maybe 10, 15 days down the road, they buy the product, that's all free money, okay? Because they're on your list, you've captured that list, and that's pretty much all free money. So initially, when you get your, building up your list, that's gonna be where it's gonna be the most expensive because you're trying to get somebody that's, that's not interested in you, maybe not interested in your product, they don't know you, and get them onto your list where they're gonna start to know you, they're gonna start to get to understand you a little bit, but that's gonna be where most of the money is gonna be spent. So it's important that you get that money back and you only, your only focus is to break even on that ad. You just wanna spend $10 and get that $10 back. Take that $10, put it right back into more ads. Take that and you just keep re, redoing that over and over and over again. You just keep running ads like that. So all the money that you make on the initial product, you put right back into advertising. All the money that you, that you make through your follow-up is gonna be where you take that and you can put that in your pocket put that in your bank account, whatever you wanna do with that. But the initial startup money on those ads, the money that goes to that funnel initially, that needs to go right back into more Facebook ads. And you just keep multiplying that. So if you can just change your thinking a little bit to where I run Facebook ads, all I'm trying to do is break even, and I need to show offers right away to people, then you're gonna have a lot more success with your Facebook ads. Hey, if you like this video, click on the like button. Also, share it with your friends. Comment below. Let me know how I can help your business. This is Tyler Pratt. I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you on the next one. Yeah.